Uh, hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, let's try JavaScript B6. I mean, I'm covering the B6 first, then we will cover the intermediate uh, certifications. I mean, doing these is just a fun for me. I'm just like getting things more clear and all these things, it's not adding any value, but like uh, if you practice these things, then you can take any kind of uh, online full stack certification test or online uh, interview job test or something like that. And here we have week day text and the data finder, data finder. Okay, so these are the two problems we are going to solve. And we have one hour 20 minutes weekday text okay and this is interesting uh, it takes a single argument weekday which is an array of string okay weekdays which is an array of string it returns a new function that called uh, get text a single integer argument number and does the following it returns the value of the weekday array at the zeroth index number okay input is better so five okay the sample output is zero one two three four five saturday Simple use case. If you are passing something like this, then invalid weekday number. Sample input custom string. So is an error object with the message invalid weekday number because the index 10 is out of array index. Okay, this is also correct. So it looks like we are getting the weekday as an input. So what all inputs we are getting? Let's see. Here we are getting the weekdays get text and we are calling this get text method weekday text uh, and then there is a method get text also we need to write I think okay let's weekdays is an a string of array right this is going to give us get text and then we are calling get text get text is also again and here we are passing the another input it's trying to understand the two input values because get text is also a function which doesn't looks implemented here okay it takes a uh, implement the, the the function weekday text such that it takes a single argument weekdays which is an array of string okay this is where of string it returns the new function that called that called get text that takes a single integer argument and does the following it returns the value from the weekday array at the zeroth face index if the following number out of range da, 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 da. just like things are easy right the only thing is the language now weekday text here we are getting this and how we can return another function is return uh, weekday text okay it should return another function so it's like a closer and now, now I got it so this is another function which it is because get text is we are returning from the weekday text right so it's another function weekday text and here you are taking number right number as an input and it returns the value now what we need to check we need to check a couple of things if the number let's convert it into a number if it is not a number if this is greater than weekdays dot length because that is an array then what we need to return is through new error and we will add the message otherwise what we will return it returns the value from the weekday array at the zeroth index so we can simply return a weekday it should be simple I think weekdays and we can just pass the number which we can convert it into that is just for safety like we are just converting into a numeric value and then we can simply run the test invalid weekday number we cannot copy invalid weekday number okay let's try this run the code
compile successfully so today today run the code run the tests there may be an edge case so uh, what is this check the argument must be a type string of an instance this i am not able to understand i then friday okay what are these now okay i mean we have done whatever is needed weekdays is an array of string we can also check there is no condition that it's an array or not it takes single argument weekday which is an array of string so here we can check uh, array of string but it doesn't the implementation will be tested provided code several input files that contains the parameter weekday text function that will be called within the weekday parameter then the return function will be called the result of the later will be printed on the standard output uh, file contains seven separate string weekday names the second line contains the valid number to be passed to the get text function i mean i can do the check that weekdays should be an array javascript array otherwise but we don't know what else needs to be returned invalid weekday number or like here we are passing empty wtf custom testing and we are passing 10 for me this looks like looks like fine i will submit this second one is date finder okay so it takes a single argument implement the function date finder it takes a single argument date and array of integers data an array of integers okay looks like we are getting the the values something like this array of integers uh, it returns the new function that is called find so it's the same kind of logic right return find so this is the function it is returning it takes three argument min range max range return function find it searches the value in the data array in the inclusive range min range to max range using zero based indexing if the value is found the given range it returns true otherwise it returns false if min range and max range is beyond is min range uh, beyond the end of the array through the error object okay let's see the example we are saying is this is the data 15 1 10 10 10 this is an array and 1 4 4 min range is 1 max range is 4 the value is 4 min range is 1 value is 4 sample output is true we found this within the range example is this 1 10 13 so min range is 1 max range is 10 and this is 13 is the value <coughs> because in well because 10 is beyond the end of the array so whatever the max range we have that should be less than and equal to the length of the array so here we can just check if uh, max range max range is greater than what we see uh, the array dot length data dot length so if you the type for data dot length that means your mix max range is beyond the the allowed input right so we can just do is throw new error and you can just say simply say is invalid range because the index is max range is let's say you are passing this is the data okay then your min range is 1 this is 5 and this is 8 you're looking for the value 8 max range this is the index fifth index so we should be checking the length of this array should be at least okay this is the index right uh, let's check this min range is 1 max range is 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here we need to check the index because this all is the index 
using zero based indexing right that is correct so data dot length will be 6 in this case and we are looking for max range is 5 okay so we should be good i think date max range these are zero used i mean the the range is starting from zero otherwise we will see if the test case is breaking now what we need to do is we just need to check that this particular value the third argument is inside this range or not right so here we say is the value is 4 and uh, the value was there 0 1 2 3 4 index right so min range so we can just run a loop hold let i equal to min range i is less than equal to max range i plus plus if data of data is an array right so data of i that is equal equal to equal to the value and you can simply return true if nothing is missed then we can just return false right this is a simple logic i think we are returning true whenever there is a match found from this loop let's run the code first and all the test cases so we are looking for 1 10 13 Next, min, min is 1 max is 10 this is correct right what is the your output invalid okay yeah i got this because why what we are looking into right uh, the two test cases because we are starting the indexing from zero right and data dot length minus one so we also need to check if uh, let's say you have only four elements six elements and you are looking for the fifth index then the array dot length should be at least this having sixth index this is all about the array indexing right my test cases are passing that's what matters and let's see here we need to submit this also we were having some test cases failure in the weekday text that can be related to the same set of indexing rules i will just try to do console.log that will give us the whole picture so here i can just do console.log and weekdays comma number and run the tests okay this is and minus one we are getting number is minus one right so here we can just check uh, if number is minus one then that is an invalid weekday number right this is the edge case and some corner cases you always need to consider I mean, number of minus one should be minus one because index should start with zero in that case we can say is invalid weekday number invalid weekday number and we can also say is or same as earlier i'm just submitting this okay so this is how we are done with the javascript basic certification i'll submit this one also submit test close this test okay uh,